Hey, what's going on, Pisces? How are you? My name is Anton, and I want to welcome you to the House of Luminance and to your uh, general message for the second week of April of 2024. All right, I'm not going to hold you too long. Let's go ahead and get right on into the energy for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, April 8th through 14th of 2024 was the messages for you. While I'm shuffling, let me just thank you guys so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. Thank you for your time. If the message does resonate, then hit the like button, subscribe, comment, you know, all the stuff. And if it doesn't, then okay, that's fine. Maybe the next time. All right, last show for Pisces. Let's get into it. All right, Pisces. So the general energy for you is the King of Pentacles. All right, come on, come on, boss. <laughs> come on, boss, Pisces. You know, Pisces, I see you um, just being very secure this week, okay? And it doesn't even feel like it necessarily has to be monetarily, okay? Yeah, you got your coins or you're getting some coins or, you know, you have it, right? Um, well, you know, but it doesn't necessarily have to feel monetarily, right? It just feels that you're just very secure in yourself, in your surroundings, in, in, in what you do have, Okay. There's a lot of value around you that doesn't necessarily mean money, okay? Um, it could be your village. It could be your, uh, you know, your own health, okay? Um, you've matured. There's, there's a maturity here with this energy, Pisces, for sure, okay? Um, and also, I'm feeling that for many of you, this could be having something to do with maybe someone that you're around a lot, like someone maybe older than you. Um, it could be a father figure. I mean, we are talking about the king of, 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 uh, of pinnacles here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a father figure. It could be just, um, you know, or, or it doesn't even have to be male. Um, it could just be anyone that is a very solid person in your life, someone that you can always lean on. Um, someone that you can always, uh, you know, if whenever you have to start over or whenever you have to go to zero, right? Like they are always just like a good jumping off point for you because they're there for you. All right. Um, okay. You could be that person too for somebody. All right. But let's go ahead and get into some more energies. Let's see what the challenging aspect is for you this week, Pisces. What is in your challenge? What is it that Pisces is going to have to overcome this week all right okay Pisces so oh <laughs> all right so yeah the page of Pentacles wow it's so funny how that shows up in your challenge you got the king of Pentacles in your general but the page of pentacles shows up in your challenge. So Pisces, as strong as you are, as secure as you are, as solid as you are, there may be a little bit of insecurity, okay? And that's not a dig, okay? That, that's not meant to be like a bad thing. What I'm saying is, is that there's just, you know, this could just be the outside looking in, how the, how the people see you on the outside, right, as this, this king, but maybe you yourself on the inside, Pisces, you don't see yourself that way. You may see yourself as, oh, I still got a lot to achieve. I still have a lot to learn. I still have a lot to do and experience, you know, um, which is great. I like that because that also makes me feel like you're not done, right? You're not, um, you're not over, you know, you're not bored with life, right? There's always more to attain or to, to, to learn or to, um, to tr there's always more that you can treasure about life, okay? Uh, so that could be what your challenge is this week, okay? Is that you're just trying to discover what else is there. I have this, all right? I've, 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 I've obtained whatever. Now, what else is there that I should be looking towards or what else is there that I can start? Um, do I even want to just start, you know, somewhere else or, or start over, okay? Um, I also see that maybe some of you could be deciding or not whether you want to uh, uh, 
I guess, invest in somebody else's um, dream or plan or whatever. Uh, you could be trying to decide if that's what you want to do. If you if you see value in in what someone else has, um, and you may want to see how you can be a part of that if you do actually find value in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some more energy for you this week. Um, you know what? Or this could just be really just two completely different people in your life <laughs> that you know one is older, one is younger. Okay, but I definitely feel like these are like more. These are like aspects of you, really, is how it feels intuitively, okay? Like, yeah, Pisces, you're bossed up. You got it together, but everybody else thinks that. I don't think you do. <clears throat> um, but it's not necessarily a bad quality to have, okay? Uh, some people are fly, and they know it. So it's like, it just makes them arrogant. <laughs> okay. This still means that you have some humility about you, Pisces. Um, okay. Ooh. Ace of Wands. Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Okay. And then under the deck, we have the Chariot. All right. I think I see what's going on. Okay. So listen, we got this chariot here that's coming out at the base of your reading Pisces. So ultimately, ultimately, I just kind of feel like the motivation for you, Pisces, is there's there's movement, right? There's action that you want to take. And it even shows up here with the Ace of Wands. Okay, there's an not only do you want to take action, but there's an opportunity for you to take action on. Okay, you're being presented with that. Um Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, Pisces. So what's happening here, I think for many of you is that there are two different options that you could take here. I'm looking at the two of swords now. So there's two different options here that you can take. You can take a new opportunity. Okay. You can jump on something new or you can complete what you've already started because I'm looking at this four of wands as like a finish line in a way. Um, so you, you can complete something that you've already started and you're very, you're so very, very close. Okay. Uh, or things are about to like something that you've already been pouring into is finally about to actually take off. Okay. Just when you may be considering pivoting and going in a different direction, that could also be, well, it could or could not be fruitful, but, um, but the opportunity does, it, it is there, all right? Um, and I think that's part of what you are having to decide is, okay, do I maybe take this opportunity that it looks great, but you don't know anything about it. You don't know if it's going to be fruitful, okay? Um, or do I go in another direction? Um, or do I keep going in the same direction, rather, um, towards the success that you're already making a way for? I want to clarify Additionally, I haven't done this in any other reading, y'all, Pisces, so y'all are special. But I want to clarify this Ace of Wands because I, I, we, we need to get some information about what happens if you go that direction. So, Spirit, can you clarify this Ace of Wands? Okay. The Three of Wands. <laughs> well, all right. So, okay. The Three of Wands is clarifying this Ace of Wands. So I'm really just kind of feeling like Pisces, the decision is still um, kind of up in the air, right? It's like you could take that, that this particular new route. Um, okay, I think, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The possibilities are just way too open, just way too open here with this. At least with this, you already know that it's a done deal. Um, or it's, if it's not a done deal, at least, you know, that it's, you know, it's moving in the right direction. Okay. Um, but this doesn't actually have any direction. It feels like it is an opportunity, but it just doesn't necessarily have a direction. It's just so open. Okay. So really the question is just, what are you going to devote? Like what, which way are you going to go? Like, um, are you going to devote all of your energy into, 
Ooh. Okay. Are you going to devote all of your energy into finishing a certain thing? Or are you going to maybe give a little bit into something else? And I think that that's kind of what you might be doing. You may be a little, you know, here and there with it. I think that you're still going to um, try to find finish having success here with this. But you're also going to, um, you know, give a little bit of energy to something else as well. Because there could be something worth it in there as well. All right, Pisces. That was a lot. <laughs> Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what Madam Endora has to say here. That's crazy. Three of one, three, three of ones and the four of ones. And then two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually. Like one, two, three, four. I like that. All right. The minstrel. Um, or the minstrel. Let your intentions be known, okay? Um, speak it out loud, you know? <laughs> Some of you, I think, kind of sing little songs in your head anyway, and you're just kind of putting your intentions out into the universe to see what comes back to you, and I think that you've done that, and now you actually have opportunities that you can take advantage of and that you can give to, uh, maybe pass down an opportunities to, uh, to other people. All right, Pisces? Let me know what's going on in the comment box below. I'm stuttering, so that means I'm tired. I'm so sorry. You guys, this was a, a pretty good reading. I liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.